like today for PRP, which is the platelet-rich plasma, and it's for hair restoration. Uh, and this is your third treatment, so I know you've seen, already seen a lot of growth, and we're just gonna keep going. Shannon, so we had a screen in the video. You can always pick up the audio. Shannon, so we had a leak in our wall last night. Yeah, I can't believe it. I'm sick of that. <laughs> yeah, did just fine from Harvey. Nope. Uh, water, water pipe had a spring leak. <laughs> All right, now, um, Nancy. Our nurse is demonstrating the injection technique for PRP, for rejuvenation of the scalp. Um, this young patient has uh, evidence of androgenic alopecia, that's the loss of hair due to certain hormones, particularly those of the male hormone type. And this technique has been shown to be beneficial at improving hair thickness and growth in areas where that's shown thinning uh, due to this particular genetic condition. Um, so he's got basically all the hallmark signs where it's basically kind of a widow's peak kind of hairline, getting thin around the front layer of the uh, scalp, and then another thin layer at the crown. So basically what we do is we mentally, in a sense, draw a line around the areas of thinning, and then inject the PRP into the layer just below the dermis where the hair grows. And we inject this about one centimeter apart, little tiny doses, about a tenth of a milliliter. And we just keep going through the entire area that we've circled, that is the area of thinning. Now what is PRP? <clears throat> Platelet-rich plasma is a fraction of the blood that we derive by placing the blood that we take from the same patient, we take your own blood, and we put it through a centrifuge and separate out the layers of blood. And the platelets are a layer that contain little tiny cellular-like entities that uh, are components of the clotting mechanism. Platelets help the body clot. But in those uh, clots, since a clot is, of course, after all, basically something that we have to repair an injury, uh, nature has evolved uh, a little, these little cellular elements called platelets that have growth factors in them. And growth factors are the key to why this works. Um, like I said, it has to do with Mother Nature and the fact that growth factors uh, help you heal from wounds. And what are you going to have at most wounds is a small clot that occurs first. And so when you have a wound, these little growth factors uh, arrive at the injury site in the platelets and immediately begin to work by stimulating recovery and healing. And healing involves bringing in cells that uh, affect the healing process and affect wound healing. And so these growth factors will stimulate the hair follicles that are ailing. Uh, those are the thin hair follicles that were about to fall out in a patient with uh, male pattern or alo you know, androgenic alopecia. And we just do this about every four weeks. We inject this platelet-rich plasma that's loaded with these growth factors. And those growth factors stimulate the hairs that are damaged and becoming weakened and to growing strong and healthy again. And you can see uh, frequently after three in, uh, injections, uh, that is again, you know, three injections spaced about, you know, four to six weeks apart, that the patient will start showing signs of recovering hair growth and these little sh tiny short hairs 
those hairs didn't exist. You can, if you can see right close here, you can see there's a whole bunch of small hair that are about half an inch to a, a quarter inch long. Those are all brand new, all brand new hairs. Does the treatment hurt, Travis? A little pinch. Right. But well worth it. Right. Yeah, it, it's not a bad treatment. It's a little time consuming, but uh, other than that, you know, um, I think most people would say it's a small, you know, thing to, you know, a small price to pay for, you know, recovering hair growth when you were losing it. Um, and now what's the outlook for this? Uh, basically, after a series of, you know, six or so treatments, again, spaced four to six weeks apart, you'll start to see these hair follicles growing so well, you can probably start to space it out a little bit. And then there'll be some maintenance uh, treatment involved where you'd probably do it seasonal, like you know, quarterly, come in and get some PRP in the scalp to uh, try to keep those healthy hair follicles uh, growing strong and healthy. You know, you could say it's a little bit like fertilizing your garden. You know, uh, you can't just fertilize it once and expect it to grow forever. So uh, you, if, you, if you kind of take that attitude to, uh, towards it, it's a pretty reasonable thing to uh, so now here we are continuing, same treatment, uh, this time on the crown, that is more the back of the scalp. And those are the two areas that show up uh, hair loss uh, earliest in people with early, you know, uh, male pattern baldness or androgenic alopecia. It's, it's nothing different, doing little injections, about a tenth of a cc, about one centimeter apart, or in a grid, one centimeter. Um, you know, a lot has been talked about of uh, the role of stem cell treatments in the coming era of medicine. And uh, I think that uh, PRP is, I would call it kind of stem cells light. It's, uh, it's a process and a treatment that's based upon the same basic concepts that we use in stem cell therapies. Basically, that these growth factors. 